Hi, my name is Lee and welcome to my channel Cola Flipper. I'm a UK eBay reseller. I buy secondhand items at car boot sales and I resell them online for a profit. Just gonna record another quick um, become a better reseller video. Um, and I, this is number three in the, in the series. I've done two previously, one on um, women's jeans and one on uh, paperweights. So basically, if you haven't seen any of them before, I'm trying to show people how I research and learn about a new subject. Um, it's, it's massively important to keep learning about different areas and whilst I, I have um, niches where I, I specialise, I still want to learn about other areas so that I don't miss out on bolos. There's always going to be things that you don't know about and the, the only way of learning about them is either trial and error, watching other people's haul videos or getting stuck in and doing some research yourself. So. Um, I, I do this regularly, a um, couple of times a week, I'll just have a flick through my phone, look at certain very, very specific um, new categories I want to learn about, things that I might see at a car boot sale or a charity shop where I don't have a huge amount of knowledge, and then I dig deep, learn about it, and see what sells that's going to make me 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 pound plus profit. Um, so there's less chance of, of missing something. Um, this week I'm going to have a quick look at um, maybe one, or well, at least one, but maybe two different areas. Um, firstly, uh, Disney plushes. Uh, this was a re uh, request from Jim uh, from Marlowe's Independent Trading. Um, please check out Jim's channel. Um, very smart reseller. Um, so yeah, definitely worth a look there. Um, and one of his suggestions was to look at uh, Disney plushes. You, you often see a lot of plushes at car boot sales. I tend to not pick them up. And then realizing how valuable some of them really can be it is it's, it's that getting that key knowledge. So what I'm gonna do, I've, uh, while I'm filming there, I'm gonna do a, a, um, a screen share, split screen, so you can see exactly what I'm looking up on my phone and how I research uh, a specific individual area. So um, yeah, today we're gonna have a look at Disney plushes. I'm not gonna look at the lower end. I wanna know what's selling for 35 pound plus. I wanna know what's selling at 75 pound plus. I wanna know what's selling at over 100 pound. So um, yeah, let's have a quick look. So um, what I'll do, I'll split the screens in a moment and then we can, uh, you can see exactly what I'm seeing, how I search and research um, sold to increase my knowledge and increase my chances of picking up amazing high priced high value um, items at the car boot and charity shops so uh, let's get stuck in so i'm just going into my ebay app and i am going to search for disney plush you can do this for any plush that you want but i thought i'd well jim's suggestion was disney so let's have a look at disney plushes and then <coughs> go down to sold listings Lock that in, and we're going to look at used items. And I mean, straight away you've got lots of. They're going to be a huge variety of prices, but I don't care about the three pound ninety nine, five pound ninety nine ones. That that doesn't interest me. I'm not. That as a part time, I don't have a lot of time. I want to be looking at items that, for example, I'll be able to pick up for a couple of quid and sell for thirty five pounds. So let's have a look. <coughs> Sold prices. Let's say thirty-five pounds to say seventy-five pounds, and straight away there's some bundles. So I want to filter out bundles, so I can then add to Disney Plush and put in a minus um, uh, bundle, and that will get rid of all the bundles out of what I'm looking for. Uh, I only want to look at what's been sold in the UK, so item location UK. And then I'm gonna sort, <clears throat> I could do it highest to lowest, but I just wanna see the variety and what, what the different items are that come up. So, I'm gonna do ended recently. So it's just gonna show me the most recent sales um, between 35 pounds and, uh, what did I say, 75 pounds. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> Excuse me, got a bit of a cough. So, um, at the start we have got uh, Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. Giant Winnie the Pooh. Now, I, I often see Winnie the Pooh, but that one does look massive. You can see it on a what looks like a park bench there. That is absolutely huge. But then, 
if that's 30 inches high, that's going to be a pain in the bum to post. So do I really want to pick that up? Jumbo Big Disney Store Simba, uh, 40 quid. Ah, uh, so it's, um, okay. So we've got a couple of Simba, you've got the Simba before he gets his hair, his mane. 40 quid including postage. That might be a pain, that's going to eat into your profits. Wicket from Star Wars, 35th anniversary. Stitch from Lilo and Stitch. Ah, there we go. Nigel from... So you've got the ones that you'd recognise quite instantly. And you'll often find it some of the not so well-known characters or the, the smaller part characters that, that actually are quite valuable because people are trying to build up an entire collection. So this is Nigel from uh, Finding Nemo. He went for £40 plus postage. Now, when I'm looking through at a car boot sale, if I see a, a funny looking pelican, I don't immediately think it's Disney. Now, obviously this one's got the Disney patch on the bottom um, to, to show that he is an official Disney um, product, but that's good to know, 40 quid. So I, I will make a mental note of that and keep an eye out. And if I happen to see uh, a Disney pelican, I know that's potentially worth 40 quid. I've <coughs> uh, got some alligators uh, from the um, Princess and the Frog, um, Moana, got the Bulldog from Lady and the Tramp, 45 quid, that's good. So I'll have a look at him. And as I said, we're not looking at this in top to, to bottom value, we're just looking at what's sold recently so we know what's hot at the moment. You can do sorts, obviously, from the, um, the highest prices to lowest, so you've got your very, very high-end bolos, but it's still good to know the ones that are selling for, say, over over £20, over 30 over 50 um, But for me, I, I want to be looking at stuff sort of £35 upwards. So that is another good one to know. £60, and that is... Uh, we've got a bunny Jim Henson one. I've not seen him before. That's from Disney World. So is there any more information on this particular one? What Disney... Um, Muppet Vision 3D, uh, 13 inches, nothing really of any note there. But this guy, now knowing that he's worth 60 odd quid, that's pretty fantastic. Huge Daisy, more Lion King stuff. There's quite a few, oh, we've got Scar there, 36 pounds. So there's definitely a, a following for for the Lion King. He's new, well, he's used, but he's got his tag in his ear still. We've got another Nigel the Pelican. Bing Bong. He was cool, so I, I like that film. It's from uh, Inside Out. and um, That's a good film if you haven't seen that one. Very different for Disney. 35 quid, that's good to see. Okay. And he's quite clear and recognisable. So we've got here. Oh, that's something from Coco, so that's quite cool. And Alab I don't, I'm not even gonna pronounce that. Alabrihe. One of the spirit animals from Coco. Alabrihe, I think that's how you say it. Tell me if I'm wrong. See that's really cool, and again, that's really recognisable if you see that out at the field or at a charity shop, that should be quite easily recognisable. And that's 35 pounds. Another really, really good film, really enjoy that. Um, here's one for James from uh, James Collects. Um, he's missed out on a, a, a squeaky, a, a squeezy toy, um, Wheezy the Penguin. But the plushes, I didn't know they went for that sort of money as well, so potentially I need to look out for the plushes as well as the actual squeezy toys, 40 quid. What else, more Moana. Ratatouille, 43 pounds for the pair for um, Remy and Emile from Ratatouille. That's a great film. So that's good to see, 40 odd quid, pre-postage, big stitch, more Moana. There's quite a few seen the Moana sets, going for 35 quid, so if you can pick up the, the, the um, plushes, if you can get a pair of them for a couple of quid, 
That's good to know that you can flip them for 35 upwards. Sven the reindeer, 35. Again, if it's, we don't know because out of the cross thread, we don't know what it actually sold for. It's uh, 35 on their offer, but if you've got, um, I'm just doing this quickly on my phone, but if you look at these through, um, I've forgotten the name of the thing now. I think it's free now. Anyway, there's um, part of your research tools within uh, the eBay um, site on your selling area. Um, you can you can actually see what the the actual sold prices are. Terra Peak. That's what I was thinking of. So, oh, Bolt. Now I knew Bolt was one. I've been looking for him, keeping an eye out for for Bolt for quite a while now. So forty pounds. I think that's a little on the low side. I've seen Bolt go for a, for quite a bit more than that from memory. And I went forty best offer. So let's. Oh, Yazoo. Again, 58 quid. See, some of these smaller characters are going for higher higher amounts. So that's just having a quick look at the um, 35 to uh, 75 pound mark. Let's switch it up and have a quick look. 75, so say 150. Again, you can do all this research yourself. And I'm not, when I mention, I'm not gonna do any more other than Disney today, but I was um, at the car boot this weekend um, I was having a chat with uh, a subscriber um, and she mentioned how she'd also looked at a um, Jelly Cat um, toys. Now Jelly Cat, um, definitely worth looking at. I remember getting Jelly Cat stuff for, for both our kids when they were younger. Um, what I didn't know was that some Jelly Cat um, items were special edition and, and very small editions and they they're going for 50 60 70 80 100 pounds so now i'm very very conscious about looking for certain jelly cat items so again don't now I've, I've shown you how to do it here have a look but rather than putting in disney plush have a look for jelly cat and you'll see some absolutely crazy sold prices so um definitely 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 worth doing some of this and don't don't just do what i'm doing i'm looking at disney look at other brands look at for example jelly cat widen your knowledge and and go from there and once you've got a few of these items stuck in your head you're just much more conscious to seeing them when you're out and about so let's have a look at for these uh, sort of over 75 pound ones so i'm not bothered about the uh, bundle at the top but we've got um the king hyena 120 pounds wow that is fantastic so that's jen has got again the disney store stamp on his foot 120 quid for a plush toy and again he's not one of the main characters um bolt i mentioned bolt earlier and we've got another bolt here who and he's a claw machine one and he went for 80 quid that is a lot of money i would have thought maybe because that doesn't look like um, an original disney um he'll have the little disney stamp on him so this is a not for resale, it's a prize. And that, how can that have gone for 80 odd quid? That's, that is absolutely crazy. Um, Aristocats um, Marie, let's have a look at her, giant plush toy. So again, sometimes the, the size is gonna impact it, the, the bigger the size. Doesn't mention anything about it being from the Disney store. Oh no, that is, there we go, so we, that is the Disney store. So that is an official one. And that was um, 80 pounds that went for. Huge 26 inch um, Simba, 120 pounds. For Real Friends Disney, The Lion King Mighty Raw Simba Interactive Plush. Never seen that in my life, 75 quid. That looks a bit real, I'm not sure I like that. And he's got a stamp on his foot, or it's a, a molding, Fur Real, F-U-R. R E A L. Um, so maybe that's something that I need to note down and then just do some research on Fur Real. So instead of putting in Disney Plush, I would now search up Fur Real and look at prices, um, I'd look at the lower end, middle height, just to get myself an idea and acquainted with that particular brand. So if I see it out and about, I know whether it's worth picking up or not. Another Disney Bolt, 90 quid. And again, that's another claw machine, not official Disney store one. We've got another 
Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, but this one has got some funky material on it. This is Disney Beauty and the Beast plush. Why is it saying that? Oh, is it? Oh, so the material is different. Stitch crashes Disney. So Stitch crashes into other Disney movies, and in this case, he's taken on the the material from Beauty and the Beast, which suggests he's rare. £150 rare. Good to know. So if you see Stitch from Lilo and Stitch in some random non-normal um, material, there's a good chance he's worth more money than um, than a standard one. Disney 28-inch Flamingo Croquet, £99 from Alice in Wonderland. Look at that, That's, these are not very clear or good photos. Yet that sold for £100. That is absolutely crazy. Disney Flamingo Croquet Mallet Stuffed Plush from Alice in Wonderland, 20 inches, tw sorry, 28 inches, lovely and clean. Wow, and it's like not pff, clean, but he, he does, the awful photos and that went for 100 quid. That, that is absolutely crazy. Uh, another big Simba, more Lion King ones, Christopher Robin and Winnie the Pooh. Got Kangaroo and, um, Kangaroo and Roo plush. So that's cute. And that has gone for a lot of money. So again, official Disney tag on the bottom. And that's gone for 85 quid. More Lion King. Another Stitch crashes Beauty and the Beast, 150 pounds. That is definitely a bolo. Another um, Lion King hyena, 120 pounds, bolo. Another uh, Disney Bolt, over 100 pounds, bolo. Oh, Gummy Bears, it was one of my favorite cartoons as a kid. And um, if you've got Disney Plus, they've now added Gummy Bears onto um, Disney Plus. It is amazing, I, I love it and I've introduced my kids to it. And um, yeah, I can't get enough of it. Um, one of the best theme tunes ever. Um, Disney and the, uh, Lady and the Tramp Trusty, um, 75 quid. Again, official Disney store, he's got the stamp on his bum. So again, that gives you a good idea. Let's have a look for 150 to, let's shoot for the moon. So 150, no max. And I mean, how many results were there, sorry? Uh, 19 results. Wow, so we've got, wow, a real antique Mickey Mouse. Tiny little mate, uh, dude. Um, 210 or best offer, and that went for, we don't, so we don't know the exact price because it was a best offer. Um, nearly 90 years old, made in England back in the 30s. That is amazing. Oh, to be honest, if, you, if I saw a, a, a Mickey Mouse figure looking that old, I would pick it up anyway. But now we know that it went for a, an offer. Um, it was up for 210 and it went for an offer. So again, you can check out on Patera Peak and see the actual sold price. Um, a Disney bundle there. So you've got the four... Um, Eeyore, Tigger, Piglet and Pooh. Does that come with that box as well? That's a bit odd. Like new, tags removed, smoke free. Again, yeah, you don't want something that stinks of smoke. Um, not a lot of detail there, but that is interesting, 200 pounds. Another, oh, that might have been one of the earlier stitches because I'm still looking at two, um, 150. Maybe I should change that to 150 and a penny, so I don't get the same results. How many results that lowest down? 16, so it's taken out three, so it's probably... Okay, so we've got the um, Siamese cats um, from Lady and the Tramp, 170 pounds. They've got the official Disney um, tag on their butts. That 
is interesting. Another, this is a huge bolt toy, 180 pounds for a 30 inch bolt laying down. Got a proper thing around his neck, a uh, collar and a medallion. And that is a Disney Store exclusive. This is the first one that we've seen, which is a proper Disney Store one that um, there isn't have a claw machine. So you get the gist of it. Um, definitely, definitely keep an eye out for um, Disney Stitch Crash's um, Beauty and the Beast. Keeping an eye out for Bolts and uh, yeah, definitely, definitely worth looking at um, some Disney toys. Feel free, do this yourself for any other brand that you, you want to. Have a go at um, the Jelly Cats, see what you can find there, learn about what goes for 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50, 100, 200, who knows. Um, this technique works for absolutely anything. I use this regularly, a couple of times a week, I just think, right, I've seen these at the car boot, I wanna learn about them. Um, you can go back through my previous videos, have a look at the, the other ones that we've, we've discussed previously, but um, there is nothing stopping you from doing this yourself. Find a niche that you want to learn about and have a go. Um, I'll keep regularly doing these, um, these become a better reseller videos. If there is a, a specific area, I've got a list that I'm going through, but if there's a, a specific area or niche or something you want to learn about, pop it in the comments below. Let me know what you want uh, me to look at and I'll add it to the list and I'll, I'll get onto them as soon as I can. Hopefully this has been useful, giving you an idea of, of how my brain works and how I broaden, uh, widen my, my scope of knowledge so that I, I've got a better chance of picking up higher value items more consistently. Um, don't just be passive and learn from what you see on, on YouTube. Actively do something like this. Even if you're looking, trying to learn one thing a week, that's 52 things a year you then have a, a specific knowledge on. You do that twice, you've got 100 things a year that you have a specific knowledge on. This is the, the best way of increasing your chances of getting a bolo. Don't rely on other people, rely on yourself. Um, and and you'll do well. So um, thank you very much for, for watching again. Uh, my name is Lee. Yeah, thank you for watching me on Cola Flipper. Please add a comment for anything you'd like to see on, on this in future, and um, I will see you next time. So thanks for watching. Take care.